Toss here again. Uh, this is part two of Make the Ukulele Banjo. And in this, we're going to show how we put the neck onto the body. Now, during this, you'll see there's several points where I'm hesitating as if I don't know what I'm doing. The reason for that is I don't know what I'm doing because I'm basically winging it. So, bear with, it all seems to be working so far. This is part two. Okay, the next step is to mark up on the neck for how we're going to join it onto the boron. The boron skin's held on with these pins, so I want to cut a recess in the neck to allow for the skin and the pin. Now the way I'm going to do it, this is a rough bit, this is a join. I'm just going to put some pencil on there, on the tip. I'm going to make sure they're both flat and I'm just going to run the neck over where I put that. And hopefully, aha, we've got a nice pencil mark at the depth where that sits. And then I'll round that out. So that will sit into it. Okie dokie. I haven't actually decided yet the method of putting the neck onto the boring. I quite like the idea of some kind of bow through because I want to be able to, if need, reskin the boron which means I would have to take the neck off. So since this only arrived this morning I'm still thinking about it. And this here by the way is just the handle. It's not supporting anything so I am going to be taking that off. But you see I might again take a dowel and dowel through for there. Don't know yet. But at least we've got that one little bit sorted. What we've got to do now is find the centre, that's 47, that's 23.5, that is 12, so when I went to school that was 6, and then if we just join those two up, That's not going to be in short. <clears throat> well, it's close. That needs to go over a little bit more, but that's fine. So that's there. The depth of the skin is 17 mil. So if we plonk that on as well. Add another little bit. Then we can draw that through. So that there is what's going to be coming out. When I say it's coming out, I mean that is just going to be cut in just to the thickness of the skin and obviously slightly deeper in the centre where the pin is. What we're going to do now is with a little Dremel tool I'm going to cut this section out down to about just less than a mil in here. Just sand it away which will leave that part for button up against the boring and this will be free from the skin and the pins. Okay. Okay, as I was going to, as I was saying earlier, Dremel, sander, I've cut 
little bits in there to make it a bit easier. I'm going to do this for a second because it's flimmin' boring. When I say boring, I obviously mean to watch. I assume you get the drift. Now, this could be my first major mistake, but what I think I want to do, I don't know if you can see, but I've got this bolty screwy thing here. And I reckon I'm going to drill through there and bolt through with that. Because if it goes pear shaped I believe I can take that hole out, open it out and if I want I can actually put a dowel if I'm clever all the way through. But I want to try it with the bolt first to see how secure it is and then I'll probably put another bolt above it. But I've got the backup of a dowel all the way through. That's the theory. If the next time you hear from me and I'm in tears, you know it's gone pear shaped. Well, <coughs> hole drilled through. Screw through. Now comes the moment of truth to see what happens when we screw it in. Catch you in a second. Okay, what I'm doing now that screw come bolt it's gone through in, obviously there will be a bit of rotation so what I'm going to do, this hole I'm drilling through now is going to come right through and I'm going to put a dowel in through the theory being, if the dowel goes through secured into there but free here, it will stop any Sideways rotation. That's the plan. Early stages, but that is the plan. So far, no tears. You see the dowel in now? It's obviously not through yet. I'm now going to cut it and then tap it in. And then see what happens. Well, all of a sudden, I'm beginning to think the theory, and this flying by the seat of one's pants, is working. That's it, the dough. I'm not going to secure it and I'll finish it off, but that looks to me. pretty damn secure. So I think the method works. And I'm now just going to take it apart and do some work on the neck. <laughs> 